Here's a system of two equations with rational expressions. This elegant problem has a surprising solution that connects algebra with complex numbers. Our first step is to eliminate the fractions by multiplying both equations by x squared plus y squared. Let's work with the first equation. We multiply both sides by x squared plus y squared to clear the denominator. This gives us x times the quantity x squared plus y squared plus 3x minus y equals 3 times the quantity x squared plus y squared. Now, for the second equation. Again, we multiply by x squared plus y squared. This gives us y times the quantity x squared plus y squared minus the quantity x plus 3y equals 0. Here's where we use a powerful technique, representing this system using complex numbers. We represent the point x comma y as a complex number z equals x plus i y where i is the imaginary unit. The magnitude squared equals x squared plus y squared, which also equals z times its conjugate z bar. Let z equal x plus i y. The magnitude squared of z's equals x squared plus y squared. Let's rewrite our first cleared equation. And our second cleared equation. Now comes the clever part. We'll multiply the second equation by i and add it to the first equation. Multiplying the second equation by i gives us this. Adding the two equations together, notice we can factor out x squared plus y squared from the first terms. Factoring gives us x plus iy times x squared plus y squared. Let's simplify the remaining terms. 3x minus y plus i times negative x minus 2y. This becomes 3x minus y minus ix minus 2iy. We can factor this expression. This factors as the quantity 3 minus i times the quantity x minus iy. Now substitute z equals x plus iy and z bar equals x minus iy. This becomes z times magnitude squared of z plus the quantity. 3 minus i times z bar equals 3 times magnitude squared of z. Recall that magnitude squared of z equals z times z bar, substituting this relationship. We can divide both sides by z bar, assuming z is not 0. This simplifies to z squared plus 3 minus i equals 3z. Let's rearrange to standard quadratic form z squared minus 3z's plus the quantity 3 minus i equals 0. Now we use the quadratic formula to solve for z. The quadratic formula works for complex numbers just as it does for real numbers. For a z squared plus bz plus c equals 0, z's equals negative, b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. In our equation, a equals 1, b equals negative 3, and c equals 3 minus i. Applying the formula gives z equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 4 times the quantity 3 minus i, all divided by 2. Let's simplify the discriminant. 9 minus 4 times 3 plus 4i. This gives 9 minus 12 plus 4i. 9 minus 12 equals negative 3, so we need the square root of negative 3 plus 4i. We need to find the square root of negative 3 plus 4i. Let the square root equal a plus bi where a and b are real, squaring both sides. The quantity a plus bi squared equals negative 3 plus 4i. Expanding the left side. A squared minus b squared plus 2 abi equals negative 3 plus 4i. Matching real and imaginary parts. We get a squared minus b squared equals negative 3 and 2ab equals 4. From the second equation, ab equals 2. So b equals 2 divided by a. Substituting into the first equation. a squared minus 4 over a squared equals negative 3. Multiplying by a squared, a to the 4th plus 3a squared minus 4 equals 0. 
This factors nicely. The quantity a squared plus 4 times the quantity a squared minus 1 equals 0. Since a is real, a squared equals 1, so a equals plus or minus 1. If a equals 1, then b equals 2. If a equals negative 1, then b equals negative 2. Therefore, the square root of negative 3 plus 4i equals plus or minus the quantity 1 plus 2i. Now we can complete our solution. z equals 3 plus or minus the quantity 1 plus 2i, all divided by 2. This gives us two solutions. The first solution, z's 1 equals 4 plus 2i over 2, which equals 2 plus i. The second solution, z's 2 equals 2 minus 2i over 2, which equals 1 minus i. Recall that z equals x plus iy. From z equals 2 plus i, we get x equals 2 and y equals 1. From z equals 1 minus i, we get x equals 1 and y equals negative 1. Let's verify these solutions in the original equations. First, let's check the solution x equals 2, y equals 1. First equation. 2 plus the quantity 6 minus 1 over 5 equals 2 plus 1 equals 3. Check. Second equation. 1 minus the quantity. 2 plus 3 over 5 equals 1 minus 1 equals 0. Check. Now let's check at x equals 1, y equals negative 1. First equation. 1 plus the quantity. 3 plus 1 over 2 equals 1 plus 2 equals 3. Check. Second equation. Negative. 1 minus the quantity. 1 minus 3 over 2 equals negative 1. 1 plus 1 equals 0. Check. Let's present our final answer. The system has exactly two solutions. x equals 2, y equals 1, and x equals 1 y equals negative 1. What started as a complex system of rational equations was elegantly solved using complex number algebra. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this elegant solution using complex numbers, please give this video a like and subscribe for more challenging math problems. See you in the next one.